I think that great food should be like great design. When you first see it, it should be really appetizing. And then when you actually experience it, when you taste it, or when you sit on it, if it's a chair, it should be really satisfying. I'm Gianfranco Zakai. I'm an industrial designer and an architect. I founded Continuum together with a, an engineer. I'm now in Boston uh, at my favorite restaurant, 51 Lincoln. I think it's a place where uh, the analogy between great food and great design becomes clear. Sometimes food is, is ceremonial and needs to make a statement. And sometimes it should be subtle and it should just be there and, and sometimes it should almost disappear. I think same with, with design, you know, what happens with the things that we design, whether it's spaces or objects or services or interactions. When you first see it, you perceive it with your eyes, you make some, some determinations about its quality, and then when you, when you actually touch it, you know, you in a sense taste it, you experience it with another one of your senses. When you sit in it, it's another one of your senses. It's not just the design of the object, it's the design of the experience, you know, and a lot of that is interpersonal. And I think that notion of interaction is really an important one. Uh, because when you start thinking about interaction, you, you start thinking about uh, cultural norms and expectations, but you also think about elements of surprise, right? Great conversation becomes pretty dull if you both agree on everything, right? You want some element that you hadn't thought of before. Right? Which comes to think of it is also about how great design, I think, is often created. It's not created by someone sitting in a in a vacuum. It's not someone sitting in a white room with a with a, a piece of paper and a pencil. It's by the stimulus of being outside of that room, of being, you know, in other people's lives, and then the stimulus of other people who are part of the design process adding their perspective. You know, and that sparks something that then results in something really important. Great food and great design have another thing in common, which isn't just about what they, what their function is. So, you know, it's not just about nutrition, or if it's the case of a chair, it's not just about sitting. It's what they allow you to do with other people. It's the social interaction that they enable or they foster. So a great meal is not just great food, but it's great companionship. A great uh, piece of design is something that allows people to be together.